Hey everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. So if you've been mining Fero in the months, weeks, days leading up to the Ethereum merge in the hopes of mining that 1000 Fero you need to start a node, you may find it's difficult in this post Ethereum merge world to get the yield you need to get yourself over that hump. So I know personally I was mining Fero. I had planned on mining enough to be able to start a node myself. But with the yield we're seeing right now, it's just not possible for me. So I'm turning to inodes. Now, this is not a sponsored video. I am in no way affiliated with inodes, but this is something that I think is going to be beneficial for me personally. So not financial advice. I'm not recommending that anyone go out and do this. I'm just going to do it for myself. And I thought it would be great to record the whole thing and share it with you in case you decided you wanted to do it as well. So I'm on their website, it's inodes.com, nodes with a Z. And what this is, it's a shared and private smart node service. So essentially what you're doing is you're taking your coin, in this case, it's gonna be Firo, and you are contributing it to a node, essentially a node pool. So if we scroll down here, uh, I didn't realize until recently that Firo was supported, but they do support with a minimum of five Firo to join a node. So the minimum you would need to do is provide five Firo into inodes, and then they would pull it with another 995 Firo that's required, and they will start the pool for you. So you can see here, their APR 18% with an 8.5% fee. Uh, so an APR of 16.5%. And you can see right now they do have 33 nodes up and running. So if we scroll down a little further, uh, fees are applied during payouts, and there's no charge on deposit or end of the month withdrawals. They are also partnered with Miner Pool. So if you do mine on Firo.MinerPool and become a loyal member and send your rewards to the inodes onboarding address, you get a 3% fee reduction on your inodes payout. So this 8.5% would drop down to 5.5%. And if you're not familiar with uh, inodes, or with, uh, sorry, with Miner Pool, uh, I did actually start up a, uh, a couple of cards mining Firo this morning. And what you can see, they have a loyalty program. So basically what I've done is I've set up my payout address to pay out directly into my onboarding account on inodes. And I'll show you how to do all this here shortly. And as we start accumulating uptime, uh, we contribute towards our weekly progress and then we'll get rewards. So you can see you get an extra 0.1 Firo per 10 mega hash per second per week. And this isn't paid out always. Uh, they turn this loyalty program on and off on Miner Pool. Uh, but once you get to the point where you've satisfied the uptime requirements and your weekly progress, then they'll pay you an additional bonus amount of Firo based on your hash rate during that period. So again, uh, you're mining to Miner Pool, which is gonna give you a little bit of bonus for being a loyal miner, and you're getting the reduction in your fees on inodes. The other reason I think this is great is Firo right now has 64.7% of the hash rate on two miners. So if we all, everybody that is interested in starting a, or contributing to the pool node, if you will, on inodes, if you switch over to miner pool, you're gonna help distribute the hash rate. So again, this is a win-win in my opinion. All right, so let's jump back to the inodes website and all I've done up to this point is I've created my own account. I am logged out so I could show you the home screen. And let's walk through these uh, few little tabs here. So you deposit to your personal onboarding address and they build the nodes. Awesome, super easy, fast. Is easiest, uh, easy to start is performing a transaction, minimum deposit required to start, payouts are daily or twice a week, your choice. So the transaction here is simply you taking your Firo from the wallet you're holding in it now and moving it into your onboarding address on inodes. All right, affordable, no fee on deposit nor on withdrawals. There is, however, the eight and a half percent tax on payouts. And again, we talked about this down below. We can further reduce that by 3% by mining on miner pool. And lastly, smart. So you compound your rewards every two hours and you can directly mine to your onboarding address. As I mentioned, I did set up my miner pool miner 
to be uh, have my payouts go directly to this onboarding address. I've got it set to the minimum of 0 0.10. I want to test this out. I haven't seen this work yet. As I mentioned, I'm just setting this up now for the first time, but we'll do a follow-up video down the road and verify that this is in fact working. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and show you how to get your onboarding address and how to get everything moving. All right, so I'm logged in now to my inodes account and you can see here I have Firo selected. Uh, you have a drop down. You could select Raptorium or Firo. So we're selecting Firo in this case. And we'll go over to these three bars. And this is our dashboard. What we want to do is we want to click on the addresses option. So this allows us an option to manage our addresses. And by default, your account is locked. So once you've got your account set up and you've come over to manage addresses, you can select the email option and it will send you an email to unlock your account. What will happen is it will unlock your account for one hour. And during that one hour, you can make changes to your addresses. So what I did, I went ahead, I uh, unlocked my account and I came down and there's an option then to generate an onboarding address. So I hit that option. It generated me an onboarding address. And this is the address now that I'm using in my miner that I had set up that allow me, allows me to directly mine into this onboarding account. Now, the second thing I need to do with this onboarding account is I need to send the Firo that's going to be required for me to contribute to a node. So we saw earlier that the minimum is five Firo. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with five Firo and test this out and see how it works. So give me one second and we'll be right back with the five Firo in this account. Okay, so we have transferred the sufficient amount of Firo for us to be able to contribute to the next node. And if we look here, I actually moved six Firo. I know we only need five. I moved six just to make sure I had enough. So this says that inodes will collect every amount above 0 0.01 Firo that sits in your onboarding address and place it in a smart node every two hours it will immediately count as collateral for the next payout session. So I don't know exactly when the next collection time is. So we'll sit tight. We'll wait for the uh, collection to happen, but we've got everything ready and everything we need. I do have everything on the compound stacking set up. So it is active. So we'll automatically send a percentage of your payouts reward to your personal address for compound stacking. After each payout, the limit is lowered to 0 0.01 Firo and what percentage of Firo of each payout will be sent to the onboarding address, I've set mine to 100%. So essentially, any payout that I receive uh, for rewards will immediately be rolled back into my onboarding account or my onboarding address, and I have a minimum collection limit set at one. So this will allow me both to accumulate through mining and through the rewards. I don't necessarily want every transaction to be picked up and processed, so with this limit value, it'll allow me to collect a little bit of additional Firo into my onboarding address before each one of those iterations of adding it to another pool. All right, so we're going to sit tight and we will come back once the six Firo that we have in our onboarding address is applied to a node. All right, so we've waited a sufficient amount of time and we're now looking again at under manage addresses at our onboarding account. And you can see our current balance is now zero Firo. So there was a collection that occurred on October 7th, 2022 at 11.55 a.m. And our total deposited amount is still reflecting the six Firo we deposited, but our onboarding address balance is now zero. So that amount has been swept out of our on onboarding address. And if we go now to dashboard and click on my stats, you can see that we now have $15.84 of total collateral. So nothing pending and the 8.45% fee applied to our rewards. Now, our estimated daily earnings for six Firo is only one penny. Again, nothing earth shattering, but it's passive income that is being generated on that Firo that wasn't being generated when I just had it in my wallet. Now, if we were to increase the total amount, say we go from six Firo to 60 Firo, now we're up to 10 cents per day. So you can see how it does start to add up over time. And all of these earnings will compound back into our total collateral. So again, this isn't financial advice. For me personally, I find this is a better use of my Firo 
to help me get closer to my goal of being able to set up my own node, but this may not be for everyone. So I also wanna point out under the general FAQ, there's a question, when can I withdraw my collateral sent to inodes and is there a fee? So the answer is there is currently no fee for a withdrawal request. You can make one at any time in the app up to two days before the end of the month you are making the request for. In order to keep the nodes running consistently, we usually process withdrawals on the last day of the month requested. So if you do commit your Firo to inodes, just be aware that you won't be able to withdraw it until the end of the month. So this is something that may be important if you want to have flexibility to be able to liquidate, then locking up in inodes may not be the best choice for you. But for me, I am a hodler. I have no intention of selling my Firo anytime soon. And in fact, I want to continue to accumulate so I can start my own node. But uh, again, something to be aware of. So that's it in a nutshell. Again, it's a very simple process. iNodes makes this very easy for us to be able to contribute to a node. And while there is a fee associated with it, I find this to be very reasonable considering they're doing all the work to set up the node and to manage um, you know, everything that's required to run it. So again, 8.45% to me is not terrible. And knowing that this fee will be reduced to 5.5% uh, because I'm mining through miner pool once my loyalty bonus starts coming through, definitely worthwhile for me. So if you learned anything, if you enjoyed this, enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell to be notified of future content. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.